Hello and welcome to this webinar recording. My name is Jamie Munro and I work for Pentland Medical, a UK based distributor selling a range of products to the UK hospitals, focusing mostly in theatres and anaesthetics. The type of products we tend to sell are niche, unique products that offer something new to the healthcare market with the aim of improving patient safety and clinical practice. In this recording, I'm going to talk to you about one of our products, the Vapor Clean filters. VaporClean has been selling in America since 2010. We introduced it to the UK market in March 2015 when the CE mark was approved. VaporClean offers a new way of dealing with patients susceptible to the condition malignant hypothermia. So I'm going to give a run through of VaporClean, showing you the different situations in which it can be used. I also have some video instructions to show you, and I'll run through some frequently asked questions at the end. So first of all, what is malignant hypothermia? Malignant hypothermia is a very rare but very serious genetic condition. It is essentially a reaction to inhaled general anaesthesia, isoflurane, desflurane and sevoflurane. Incidence in the UK is anywhere between 1 in 3,000 and 1 in 15,000 people, depending on where you take your information from. In the event of an MH crisis, it is extremely important to cut further exposure to a triggering agent and administer dantrolene as quickly as possible. Death can occur with MH, although since the advent of dantrolene, death rates have substantially decreased. Now, Luckily with MH, the vast majority of patients susceptible to the condition will know about it beforehand, usually due to a family history. So what are the current methods of dealing with these patients? Perhaps the most common method in the UK to deal with an MH patient is to simply flush the residual vapour from the machine before they come in. Disadvantages of this method are the time it can take, it can take anything up to two hours to flush the machine down to a safe level dependent on the make and model. There is also what we call the rebound effect. This is when you've been flushing the machine at 10 litres per minute for the specified amount of time. Studies have shown that when the gas flows are returned to a normal level, the vapour concentration in the circuit can then rebound back up to a potentially dangerous level. There is also an element of guesswork involved with this method. How can you be 100% sure that you're not exposing your patient to a potentially dangerous level of vapour? Another method of dealing with MH patients is many hospitals will keep a vapour-free machine sidelined only to be used in the event of an MH patient. The disadvantages of this method are the huge cost involved with buying an anaesthetic machine that is hardly ever used. There is also a maintenance cost involved with running this machine at a safe level. Another disadvantage would be the inconvenience, the space the machine can take up and also the transportation to the relevant theatre when it's called into action. Introducing the vapour clean filters. VaporClean comes in pairs, one for the inspired port and another for the expired port on any anaesthetic machine. They are universal. Both filters contain activated charcoal, which absorbs all volatile gases, ensuring that the patient is not exposed to anything above 5 parts per million of vapour. So in what circumstances can VaporClean be used? Well, there are two ways you can use the VaporClean filters, in a proactive situation and a reactive situation. Proactive usage is when you know beforehand that the patient is susceptible to MH. VaporClean can be used to prepare your machine in around 90 seconds. I'm going to show you now a short video clip which shows how the filters should be used in this way. Hello, I'm Dr. Derek Sakata. I'm a clinical anesthesiologist here at the University of Utah. Today, I'll be showing you how to prepare your anesthesia workstation for patients who might be predisposed to malignant hyperthermia and be able to do that in less than 90 seconds. It's important to realize that although I'm showing you on a Fabius GS machine today, that the principles that I'll be teaching you apply to all anesthesia workstations. The issue with newer anesthesia workstations is that they contain a significant amount of elastomeric parts and plastics that make it increasingly more difficult to flush the machine to get below five parts per million. The VaporClean is a new filter system that has been on the market since 2010. When using these filters, you can have your anesthesia machine ready for a susceptible MH patient in less than 90 seconds. The way I'll show you how to do that is first, we recommend that turning your fresh gas flows up to 10 liters per minute or higher for 90 seconds is the appropriate way to get the machine ready. After those 90 seconds, we recommend placing these filters into the breathing circuit. It's important to realize that on these filters, there's an inspiratory filter and an expiratory filter. These correspond to the inspiratory and expiratory limbs of your anesthesia machine. I'll be placing the inspiratory one on the inspiratory side, 
the expiratory one, the expiratory side. After that, I'll be obtaining a new anesthesia circuit and a new anesthetic bag or breathing bag. With the vapor clean filters in place, I can now be confident that I can run my fresh gas flows at three liters per minute for up to a 12 hour case. If the case should last longer than 12 hours, we recommend replacing these filters with a new set of filters to maintain your patient's safety. Okay, so just to go over some points on that video, first of all, you would flush the machine with fresh gas flows at 10 litres per minute for 90 seconds. What this does is remove most of the vapour from the breathing circuit, after which you would apply the vapour clean filters and they'll pick up trace amounts of vapour for up to 12 hours. If the procedure goes on any longer than 12 hours, you would need to replace that set of vapour clean with a new one. Vapour clean can also be used in the rare event of an MH crisis, when the patient has already been exposed to vapour. If you suspect that the patient is triggered into MH, it is important to cut further exposure to vapour as quickly as possible. Vapour clean just happens to be the most effective method of doing this. I'm going to show you now another video which shows how vapour clean should be used in an MH crisis. Hello, I'm Dr. Derek Sakata. I'm a clinical anesthesiologist at the University of Utah. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the vapour clean filters in an actual MH crisis. If you suspect that your patient may have triggered into an MH crisis, it's important to realize that you need to curtail the amount of triggering agent that the patient has or continuing to receive. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you follow the MHA US guidelines and get Rianodex or Dantrolene on as quickly as possible. In addition to that, to decrease the amount of triggering agent that your patient is exposed to, turn off the anesthetic immediately Turn your fresh gas flows up to greater than 10 liters per minute. Remove your existing breathing circuit and your bag. Then place your vapor clean filters, one on the inspiratory side, one on the expiratory side. Replace the circuit with a new breathing circuit. new bag. Okay. With the vapor clean in place, you have now curtailed your patient's exposure to a triggering agent. When used in this manner, the vapor clean is good for one hour. If the case should last longer than one hour, we recommend having a second pair of vapor clean filters to replace these filters at the one hour mark. For that reason, we recommend having two pairs of vapor clean filters on your MH card to handle any such emergency. Okay, so the first thing to do in a crisis situation is to turn off the vaporizers. However, there is still a high concentration of vapor in the breathing circuit and on the patient. By adding the vapor clean filters to the breathing circuit, you are immediately cutting further exposure to vapor, allowing more focus on the patient rather than the equipment. When used in this way, the filters are only good for one hour. To finish off, I'm going to run through some frequently asked questions on vapor clean. If you have any further questions following on from this, then please don't hesitate to contact me, as I'll leave my details at the end. Why can vapor clean only be used for one hour in an emergency as opposed to 12 hours in normal circumstances? When you have a known or suspected MH patient coming into theatres, there is time to flush the machine for 90 seconds before applying the vapor clean filters. Once applied, the filters will only be absorbing trace amounts of vapor, which allows them to be used up to 12 hours before they need to be replaced. In an emergency, there is no time for the 90 second flush. The filters are applied straight away which means they're absorbing a much higher concentration of vapour in the circuit and also coming from the patient. Therefore, they need to be replaced every hour. In an emergency, after replacing the first set of filters at one hour, 
Can the second set then be used up to 12 hours? No. When used in an emergency case, the filters must be replaced on the hour every hour for the remaining duration of the procedure. Can VaporClean be reused? No. VaporClean is licensed as a single-use device and it's important that they are used in this way. There is no indicator which tells you how long the filters were used for previously. Why does VaporClean include two activated charcoal filters? While it is true that the inspiratory filter is the more important, two filters are completely necessary. If there was only one filter supplied, there is a risk that it could be applied to the wrong limb of the anaesthetic machine. Furthermore, in an emergency case, there would also be vapour coming from the patient and the expiratory filter will help to speed up the removal of vapour from the circuit. How is VaporClean sold? We sell VaporClean in boxes of 8 pairs. What is the shelf life of VaporClean? We will never supply VaporClean with a shelf life less than 2 years. Typically, the shelf life will be around 2.5 years at the time we supply to the end user. Many thanks for watching this webinar recording on the VaporClean filters. Please don't hesitate to contact me using the details on screen if you have any further queries or require any assistance. Thank you.